Well, if your garden attracts pollinators, you have probably seen a lot of birds visiting your landscape as well. Plants that provide nectar for pollinators also produce seeds for birds to enjoy. The pollinator-friendly habitats American Transmission Company maintains throughout the state under their transmission lines are also good for birds. Yeah, gardening expert Melinda Myers is here to share some planting ideas that will still produce seeds for the birds to enjoy. Hey, Melinda. Hey, welcome to my home and my garden. We weeded just for you guys. <laughs> but I wanted to... and. And I am one of those people that always tries to bring in the pollinators. They pollinate my vegetables so I have more produce. They pollinate my flowers to produce seeds. But there's also some things we can do, in, including planting. So sunflowers a lot of times are available at garden centers in the fall. And this will turn into seeds and it will help feed the birds, the squirrels, and even you if you choose to. A lot of us grow cone flowers, and many perennials are still available for sale. Planting them now not only will give you some seeds for this fall, but down the road for years to come. Now, Sally Roth, who writes for Birds and Bloom occasionally, had a great tip. She let her lettuce go to seed. So this was my lettuce. I let it flower. It's starting to form seeds. The finches love these seeds. What she does is she plants her lettuce among her cosmos. She harvests her lettuce early in the season. When it sets flower and seed, the cosmos grows and covers it. The butterflies love the flowers and the finches eat these seeds as well. So it's a way to have edible ornamental, bring in the pollinators and the songbirds too. And the songbirds eat a lot of my bad insects, so that really helps as well. So cute, I love all that. And I love the fact that it's not too late to plant those. That's what people wanna know. But other ways to continue to bring the birds are things like having water and shelter, right? You bet, so a bird bath, you know, a lot of us have them, but we don't think to put a stone or two in there. And the reason we want to do that is sometimes the birds just need a drink and they don't want to be submerged. So a couple of stones strategically placed allow the birds, butterflies, and bees to sip on some water without being submerged, but leaving enough room for them to take a bath when they want. And then shelter as well. You know, I've got shrubs here that provide nice shelter for the birds. Evergreens are great shelter, uh, protect them from predators. And then also maybe some birdhouses that you wanna add. So you don't even have to have feeders necessarily, but if you provide water and shelter and some natural plantings, you're gonna bring in those birds as well as the pollinators. Melinda, what does American Transmission Company do to help attract and protect birds? You know, the whole Grow Smart program is about growing pollinator friendly plants. And they're the first in the nation to do a power pollinator model, which basically they look all along their transmission lines for any gaps in pollinator pathways. Because if we can provide food for pollinators, and then those go to seed and provide food for the birds, then if it's continuous, it's a lot less energy they expend. And so by growing those native plants especially, but things that pollinators and the birds like, really helps support those part of our community that are so important, the birds as well as the pollinators, like butterflies, hummingbirds, bees, and our native bees, beetles and flies as well. That's pretty cool, and I know that they used, um, develop, they've developed a pollinator seed mix as part of their new and their rebuild construction efforts, and then they're also a member of the yeah. Wisconsin Monarch Collaboration. You bet. And so they're really trying to work hard. We all want our power. Um, we want beautiful landscapes and we want to protect the pollinators and birds. So I think they're doing a great job. And that's why I've teamed up with them on the Grow Smart program to just try to provide good habitat for pollinators. Beautiful for us to look at. I mean, they're gorgeous. And then it also keeps the transmissions line clear so that we get the power we want and need. Their rights of way are really ideal then for pollinators as well as songbirds, right? Oh, you bet, because when you think about that space and the long distances and the stretches of land, that allows a lot of room for them to put mixes in communities. Um, you mentioned that, Tiffany mentioned that they do certain seed mixes, and if they know it's a monarch 
pathway, they beef up the milkweed for that. And you'll find hummingbirds nectaring on milkweed as well as bees. And then there are aphids that feed on the milkweed and you'll find songbirds eating those aphids to protect the milkweed that really serve as a food source for the monarch caterpillar. So it's really this cool ecosystem that they've created in these large spaces that otherwise need to be mown or you know you don't want trees and shrubs that are going to interfere with the power lines that can create a hazard and be dangerous. So we've got these beautiful expanses of native plants that are supporting the birds as well as the pollinators. We're out of time, Melinda, but just you've got this free virtual gardening seminar coming up. Um, that's something people can attend. You bet. American Transmission Company is sponsoring about eight different virtual seminars, native plants, strategies for adding them, pollinator-friendly gardens. Visit my website, melindamyers.com. It's free, thanks to American Transmission Company. They're sponsoring these, and it's a great way for us to stay connected in these interesting times. It's wonderful. Thank Aww. you so much, Melinda. Thanks, There's so Melinda. much more awareness now about pollinators and birds, too, so we appreciate your time. Thank you. And again, yeah. to help pollinators and songbirds, you can download a free ATC Grow Smart Pollinator Guide with a list of plants that attract them. So go to atc-growsmart.com and be sure to visit melindamyers.com to register for what she just mentioned. Those are the free virtual gardening seminars sponsored by American Transmission Company.